Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add mixed fractions. So first of all, why this is called mixed fractions? Mixed fraction is made up of a whole number and the fraction. So it has a whole number and a fraction. That's why we call it a mixed fraction. Now, if it's a mixed fraction, I can separate the whole number and the fractional part. So I'm going to write 4 and 3 eighths as 4 plus 3 eighths. So this will be 4 plus 3 eighths. And then same thing I can do with this mixed fraction. I can separate the whole number and the fractional part. So this can be written as 10 plus 5 twelfths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to combine the whole numbers. So that means we'll add the whole number with the whole number and then add the fractional part separately. So let's add the whole numbers first. 4 plus 10 is equal to 14. And then we can write this together. 3 eighths plus 5 twelfths. Now we cannot add these fractions because we don't have a common denominator. So we cannot add the fractions unless we have a common denominator. So to find the common denominator, we'll have to find the least common multiple of our denominators. The denominators are 8 and 12. So we're going to find the least common denominator, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to write the multiples of 8 and 12. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and so on. And then we're going to write the multiples of 12. Multiples of 12 are going to be 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. Now we're looking for the least common multiple. First of all, we're going to see which multiples are common in both. I see that I have a 24 common in both. I see I have a 48 common in both. And I can find more if I write more multiples of 8 and 12. But I'm looking for the least common multiple. That is the smallest multiple which is common in both of them. And that is 24 in our case. Now we're going to use this least common multiple to make the denominators equal. So now we have to add these fractions separately. Forget about the whole number for a bit now. So um, I have to add the fractions. So let me write the fractions over here. Now, I want my new fractions denominator to be 24 because that's my least common multiple. So I know that the denominators of my new fractions are 24. Now, all I need to think is how do I get from 8 to 24? So I have 3 eighths and I want my new denominator to be 24. How can I get from 8 to 24? Well, I can multiply the denominator by 3 because 8 times 3 is 24. Now if I'm multiplying my denominator by 3, I will also have to multiply my numerator by 3 in order to keep my fraction balanced. And 3 times 3 is going to be 9. Now 3 eighths is equal to 9 fourths. These fractions are equivalent. They're equal fractions. So I can replace 3 eighths with 9 over 24. So in place of 3 eighths, I'm going to write 9 over 24. Now the same thing we're going to do with this fraction, how do I get from 12 to 24? So let's write it here, 5 twelfths. How can I get from 12 to 24? Well, I can multiply this denominator by 2 because 12 times 2 is 24. But if I'm multiplying my denominator by 2, I will also have to multiply my numerator by 2 in order to keep my fraction balanced. And 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Since these two fractions are equal to each other, I can replace 5 twelfths with 10 over 24. So in place of 5 twelfths, I'm going to put 10 over 24. And now, since our denominators are equal, we have got the common denominator, we can go ahead and add the fractions. Now remember, when we add the fractions, we never add the denominator. So the denominator is going to stay 24. And then we can just go ahead and add the numerators. 9 plus 10 is going to give me 19. So when I add these two fractions, 3 eighths plus 5 over 12 is equal to 19 over 24. So in place of this whole thing, because I've added these two fractions and I got 19 over 24, I can replace this with 19 over 24. And now, if you see this, notice that this is a whole number and this is a fraction. 
And if we combine the whole number and the fraction, we will get a mixed fraction. So we can just write them together. 14 and 19 over 24. This is going to be my final answer. And this is the simplest strategy to add the mixed fractions. And I hope you feel comfortable in adding mixed fractions with unlike denominators now. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.